Hello viewers, using Power BI Desktop, we generate various visualizations for which we need data. We can either generate the data or we can import it from other sources. In Power BI Desktop, we can make use of a wonderful tool which is Power Query tool which helps us to extract the data from the source and apply various transformations on it. So Power Query typically consists of a graphical interface for getting data from the source and an editor which is a Power Query editor where you can apply the transformations. And in this video, we are going to look at the method to generate the data using hash table in Power Query M language. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on new videos on the technical front. So M stands for mashup which basically indicates pulling in data from more than one data source. In the get data menu, select blank query. The power query editor opens up. The formula bar that we see here will display the M code. Since we are going to write a new query, it is currently blank. In the home menu, click on advanced editor. We are now going to create a table with some values in it so that we can create visualizations on it. Here in this editor, you will be noticing a let in expression. The let expression will contain the variables and the data that will get processed. And the process data will be returned in the in expression. So let me first show you how the let in expression works. In the let expression, we have the source variable. I'm just going to change it to C. To write a very basic addition of 2 plus 4 and my in is going to return C. Now click on done. We can see that 2 plus 4 got evaluated to 6. Go to home and then click on close and apply. So the new query that we have created will now get loaded in this particular model. So currently the data here is getting refreshed and now it's going to show the query one. So the card visualization appears here. So what we have to do is select this query and this visualization is going to display the value as six. This is a very basic example to tell you how to write an expression in Power Query in language and display that data in a visualization. Now let's create columns and rows using hash table. So table in general is a list in a list. So I'm going to create a table using hash table and TPL1 is going to point to that particular table which I'll be returning in my in expression. The format of hash table is hash table followed by round brackets and inside the round bracket we will be giving two sets of curly brackets. The first set is going to hold the column names and the second set is going to hold the values which is going to be present in that table. So for each record we are going to place it in separate curly brackets followed by comma. This table contains the sample data of students. So it is going to have the student details as well as the marks scored by them in four different subjects. Basically, all the students are from class 11 or grade 11 belonging to three different sections which are section A, section B and section C. My objective here is to display the maximum total of students in each section. So for this purpose, I need to have a derived column to store the total marks of each student. Only then I can identify the class first from each section. So I'm going to make use of the add column function to create a new column. First I'll give tbl1 equal to table dot add column of the students data that I have followed by the new column name which is total and what should be the value of that particular column? It should be the sum of maths, English, science and social science of each record. Click on done. This table is going to contain the student registration number, the student name, age, class, section, followed by the marks of maths, English, science and social science and the total of the four subject marks of each student. 
Next, we need to group by section and get the first mark in each class based on the total. Click on transform and then click on group by. So we are going to group by the section because the grade is going to be the same for the sample data that I have. And the new column name is going to be class first. And the operation that I'm going to perform is the max on total. So click on OK. The final output is going to be the class first mark in each section. On this data, let's create a chart visualization. So go to home and then give close and apply. It will just take a few seconds to load the query into our data model. Now I'll click on the column chart. Along the x-axis, I'm going to have the section and along the y-axis, I'm going to give the class first. Here we can see the class first mark in each section. This is how you can generate your own data using the Power Query M language. Hope you like this video. See you soon with the next set of technical videos.